Scientists often look to the world's oceans to study how fast the planet's been warming, but new reports show that over the last few decades they haven't gotten the full picture. The reports, published in the journal Nature Climate Change, say that estimates of ocean temperatures since 1970 have been too low because the models for regions with little data were too conservative. Still, the warming isn't uniform. While the upper portions of the oceans are warming, they continue to absorb heat from global warming. These are show that the deeper sections of the oceans have not. But these findings are really just trying to understand the different levels of the ocean. Those deeper ocean sections are known as the ocean abyss, and NASA says despite those deeper water is not warming since 2005, ocean levels are rising, and the findings don't cast doubt on the fact the planet is warming. And that's simply not true. If you look at just the, simply the magnitudes of the changes we're seeing, in the winter time, the Arctic is decreasing about twice as fast as what the Antarctic is increasing. But there is a fair amount of mystery, in part because our records, even in so-called data-rich regions, don't go back that far. In fact, a lot of the estimates are built on reconstructions, often from corals and sediments, to build models spanning thousands of years. Intermediate waters today have been warming quite a lot in the last 50 years, and the rate of warming today is about 15 times what it was ever in the past in the last 10,000 years. As for how scientists currently measure surface temperatures, as the BBC reports, one source, used in the most recent reports, is Argo, a robotic fleet of some 3,600 thermometers deployed across the planet's oceans starting in 1999. It will dive to one kilometre, drift for a while, and then dive to two kilometres depth, and then start measuring things all the way up to the surface. And there's no mystery about the Argo float's findings. The surface temperatures are definitely rising and fast. That's probably at least partly because they bear the brunt of the sun's energy, which is increasingly absorbed and retained. Some experts have suggested, to clear up the remaining mysteries about why the surface water temperatures are increasing so much faster than deeper waters, scientists will need new probes like Argo to go deeper. For Newsy, I'm Sebastián Martínez.